Now, rival party lawmakers also march, marked uh, Liberation Day with a variety of different events. A number joined President Park at the ceremony in Seoul, while several others made the short helicopter trip to Korea's easternmost islands of Dokdo. Our Ji Myung Gil has a rundown of their activities. Ten ruling and opposition party lawmakers traveled to Korea's easternmost islets of Tokdo on Monday to mark the 71st anniversary of Liberation Day. The delegation, headed by ruling's Henry Party lawmaker Da Gyeong Wan, visited Tokdo to give words of encouragement to the security guards stationed there and to inspect the facilities. It is the first trip by Korean lawmakers since 2013, when another group made the trip. No one can deny that Tokdo is our sovereign territory. Japan's preposterous claims only toughen our resolve. The visit comes despite a formal protest from Japan's foreign ministry and its embassy in Seoul. Tokyo's chief cabinet secretary Yoshihide Suga expressed regret about the lawmakers' visit to Tokdo on Monday. It's completely natural for South Korean parliamentarians to visit Tokdo. It's South Korean territory and it's disrespectful for the Japanese foreign ministry to tell us not to go. In light of Japan's latest claim to Tokdo earlier this month, Seoul's foreign ministry said it again made clear to Tokyo that Tokdo is Korea's territory geographically, historically and by international law. Back in the capital city, the leaders of Korea's four main political parties attended a Liberation Day ceremony at the Sejong Center for the Performing Arts in Seoul. Kim Young-gil, Arirang News.